Hi, I'm Jerry O'Reilly, Chief Financial Officer for ExploreNet Communications, Canada's leading rural broadband provider. As a Newfoundlander myself, I'm pleased to tell you today about an investment ExploreNet has made in Newfoundland and Labrador. At ExploreNet, we believe everyone should have access to the benefits of broadband. So we work to make our service available everywhere in Canada, including the hard to reach places. We overcome the challenges of vast geography and difficult terrain through a hybrid network that includes fixed wireless and satellite components and uses leading edge 4G technology. Making broadband available everywhere is more than just important. It's critical to Canada's future. Canadians everywhere need to be able to plug into everything the internet offers, from business opportunities, to government services, to staying in touch with friends and family, not to mention video, online calling, and social media. We're investing hundreds of millions in private capital to get the job done. And we're very pleased today to announce a major investment in broadband infrastructure in Newfoundland and Labrador. We just completed construction of a satellite ground station in the province that will support a soon-to-be-launched 4G broadband satellite. This is a next-generation satellite that, for many Canadians, will deliver broadband that is both faster and more affordable than current options. We're launching the satellite this fall, and our ground station in Newfoundland and Labrador will be a place where the satellite, and by extension, the customers using it, can connect back to the internet. We've invested in the province because it offers robust infrastructure for connecting the ground station to the internet, and its location worked with our national network design. Our site in Newfoundland and Labrador is a critical part of our national 4G network, allowing us to create a better broadband experience for rural Canadians. I'm Jerry O'Reilly with ExploreNet Communications, and we're proud to have invested in Newfoundland and Labrador.